to carry out the following chemical reactions and classify them as physical or chemical change iron with copper sulfate solution in water burning of magnesium in air zinc with dilute sulfuric acid heating of copper sulfate sodium sulfate with barium chloride in the form of their aqueous solutions a chemical reaction is the change of a substance into a new one that has a different chemical identity it is a process that involves a rearrangement of the molecular or ionic structure of a substance as distinct from a change in physical form or a nuclear reaction madam how is a chemical reaction occurring a chemical reaction is usually accompanied by easily observed physical effects such as the emission of heat and light the formation of a precipitate the evolution of gas or a color change absolute confirmation of a chemical change can only be validated by chemical analysis of the products let's do an experiment to perform some chemical reactions our aim is to carry out the reactions between iron and copper sulfate solution in water the materials required are test tubes iron nails copper sulfate solution and test tube stand procedure rub the iron nail with a sandpaper to get a shining appearance dissolve 2 g of copper sulfate in 20 ml of water to form a copper sulfate solution take 10 ml of copper sulfate solution in a test tube and keep the remaining for further comparison suspend the iron nail in this solution add more copper sulfate solution in the test tube if necessary so that the nail tips completely in the solution wait for about 20 minutes remove the nail from the test tube observe the color of the nail compare the color of the resulting solution with the original copper sulfate solution record your observations in a table classify the type of change involved as physical or chemical change observations 1 the color of the solution turns pale green inference iron displaces copper from copper sulfate solution 2 a reddish brown coating is seen on the nail inference copper from copper sulfate solution has been displaced by iron fes gray plus cu2 plus aqueous solutions blue fe2 plus aqueous solutions pale green cu s reddish brown result the reactions between iron and copper sulfate shows that iron is more reactive than copper and the reaction is a single displacement reaction it is a chemical change and is irreversible precautions clean the iron nail properly by rubbing with sand paper copper sulfate solution is poisonous so handle it with care during the experiment the test tubes should not be disturbed after completing the experiment the iron nail coated with copper should not be touched b burning of magnesium in air our aim is to carry out the reaction of burning of magnesium in air the materials required are magnesium ribbon burner china dish red litmus paper ph paper strip tongs and sand paper procedure take a piece of magnesium ribbon about 5 cm long and clean it thoroughly with a sand paper hold this magnesium ribbon with tongs heat one end of this ribbon on the flame of a spirit lamp or burner when the ribbon starts burning hold it over an empty china dish so that the ash formed falls in china dish 
when the process of burning is completed collect the ash from china dish and label it as magnesium oxide moisten it with a few drops of water test this suspension with red litmus solution or paper observations 1 magnesium burns giving out a brilliant white light and a white powder of mgo magnesium oxide is formed inference magnesium burns in the presence of air and combines with oxygen to form magnesium oxide to the moist ph paper red litmus solution turns blue magnesium oxide is basic in nature result magnesium burns in air giving out a flash of bright white light and combines with oxygen to form basic magnesium oxide magnesium oxide is basic in nature precautions clean the magnesium ribbon thoroughly with the sandpaper by rubbing hold magnesium ribbon using tongs while burning it white powder or magnesium oxide should not be touched reaction of zinc with dilute sulfuric acid our aim is to carry out the reaction of zinc with dilute sulfuric acid the materials required are zinc granules dilute h2so4 conical flask candle cork fixed with a fine capillary tube procedure take about 20 ml of dilute h2so4 in a conical flask put some pieces of granulated zinc in the conical flask note the color and odor of the gas evolved test the gas with moist red and blue litmus papers insert a cork fitted with a glass tube in the mouth of the conical flask take a burning candle near the upper end of the tube and record the observations observations 1 a brisk effervescence occurs and gas bubbles evolve inference the gas produced is hydrogen which is displaced by zinc this is called displacement reaction 2 the gas evolved burns with clean blue flame the gas is hydrogen result zinc reacts with sulfuric acid to produce hydrogen gas and zinc sulfate zinc plus h2so4 gives zinc sulfate plus hydrogen this is a displacement reaction where zinc metal is more reactive than hydrogen non metal precautions handle the chemicals with care use a small jet to test hydrogen gas as hydrogen gas burns instantaneously with an explosion this experiment should be performed only after the permission of the school principal heating of copper sulfate our aim is to carry out the reaction of heating of copper sulfate the materials required are hydrated copper sulfate test tube test tube holder bunsen burner ph paper or blue litmus paper procedure take small quantity of hydrated copper sulfate crystals in a test tube and heat it over the flame take half amount of anhydrous copper sulfate in another test tube and add a few drops of water heat strongly bring a moist blue litmus paper or ph paper near the mouth of the test tube and observe observations 1 blue colored copper sulfate crystals changes to dirty white powder inference hydrated copper sulfate loses water of crystallization on heating and becomes anhydrous 2 white anhydrous copper sulfate turns blue black residue is obtained and a pungent smelling gas is evolved inference copper sulfate pentahydrate is regained and hydrous copper sulfate on heating gives 
copper oxide and sulfur trioxide is evolved. 3. Moist litmus turns red. Inference Sulfur trioxide gas is acidic in nature. Result The hydrated copper sulfate loses water of crystallization on gentle heating and becomes dirty white. On further heating strongly, it decomposes to black copper oxide and gas with smell of burning sulfur. Sulfur trioxide gas is evolved. Conversion of blue hydrated copper sulfate to white anhydrous copper sulfate is a physical change. Breaking of copper sulfate to release sulfur trioxide gas is a decomposition reaction. Precautions Copper sulfate is a poisonous substance. Do not touch or taste it. Sulfur trioxide coming in contact with atmospheric moisture forms sulfuric acid. So contact with sulfur trioxide must be avoided. In the beginning of experiment, copper sulfate should be heated gently. But after the formation of anhydrous copper sulfate, test tube should be heated strongly. Reaction of sodium sulfate with barium chloride in the form of their aqueous solutions. Our aim is to carry out the reaction between sodium sulfate and barium chloride in the form of their aqueous solutions. The materials required are test tubes, test tube holder, aqueous solutions of sodium sulfate and barium chloride. Procedure Take 10 ml of sodium sulfate solution in one test tube and 10 ml of barium chloride solution in another test tube. Mix the two solutions in a test tube. Stir the mixture well with the glass rod. Now leave the mixture undisturbed for some time and record observations. Observations a white precipitate is formed which settles down at the bottom of the test tube. There is a clear solution above the white solid in the test tube. Result, in this chemical reaction, a white precipitate of barium sulfate and a clear solution of sodium chloride is formed. The reaction is a double displacement reaction. Precautions Use the chemicals in small amount. Mix the solutions properly. Test tube should be clean and dry. Wash your hands with soap after completing the experiment. Thank you ma'am. You have given a great knowledge through this experiment.